Hi, I'm Amanda Haas, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite desserts. It's a mixed berry fruit cobbler, and it tastes that much better when you put it on the Traeger. Super simple recipe. I'm going to start with some mixed berries. You can use any combination you want. And honestly, this is one of those recipes that can go with the seasons. So if you find great stone fruits, put those in. You could certainly do apples and pears as well. All right, now I'm gonna put some orange juice on it. Great for sweetening. And a couple tablespoons of sugar. Sprinkle that right over. I'm gonna mix this with my hands. We're just gonna let the berries soak up that orange juice and the sugar. Loaded with flavor, so good. Watch this, we're just gonna pile it high in this little one. I love these desserts where you can put it on the Traeger and it's cooking as you're enjoying your meal or you can do it any time during the day. And now for the cobbler topping. I'm going to take some flour and baking soda and salt and combine them. Just want to make sure that they're all evil, evenly incorporated before we add them to the other mixture. And now to cream the butter and sugar. One of the most important steps, because you want to make sure that you have a really light, fluffy topping. And if you don't cream the butter and sugar long enough, you won't get that. So now let's add the sugar. Usually about one and a half, two minutes. It'll be nice and fluffy. OK, this looks great. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla and an egg to it. So bring it all together. Again, don't be afraid to scrape down the sides if you need to. Make sure it's all really evenly incorporated. That looks great. Okay, now I'm just gonna fold in the flour and baking soda and salt. We don't wanna overwork this. What happens when you're working with flour is that you can make things tough if you mix them too much. So we just wanna kinda of gently fold these ingredients together. Okay, so now here's the fun part. And this would be a great project to do with kids too because it's really forgiving. I'm just gonna divide this into nine little scoops and scoop on the topping. Try to make them even, but again, once it all cooks down, they're gonna kind of melt together. It should be perfect. Now, I've been preheating the grill to 375, so it's gonna go straight on for about 35 to 45 minutes, but first, one last ingredient, which I think makes a huge difference. I'm just gonna take some cane sugar, this natural sugar, and sprinkle it over the top. So when it bakes, you're gonna get that shine and that crunch from the sugar. Perfect. Here it goes. So the grill's at 375. It's straight on here. I'm gonna take a look at about 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Oh. It's one of my favorite desserts. To get this recipe and more, visit us online at TraegerGrills.com slash recipes or download the Traeger app.